me, I ain't tryna wait. I can't be fucked with, no. Oh, you can't touch this, ayy. Bitch, I do rich shit, huh. My money thick, thick, ayy. Walk with a limp, limp, huh. I'm on some pimp shit, ayy. He say you all about money, yeah. I'm on that cash shit. Quick disclaimer before the video starts. Um, I had a hard time with this video. Like, I recorded it and I edited it, like, all the way throughout. And it was perfect. It was super detailed. But when I got finished, my videos wouldn't download to my phone so that I then could upload it on YouTube. So I lost a lot of footage. I had to go and screen record some footage that I could see. So some parts of this video are, are not HD as I would like them. But I tried to get back as much information so y'all could understand how to um, duplicate or... Um, see how i did the style so i do apologize but a lot of stuff got deleted so you won't see me gluing down this wig but you will see me coloring it the part where i do the watercolor method is not going to be hd because like i said again it got deleted well it didn't get deleted but it won't download to my phone in hd and yeah i just had a lot of problems with this video but here we go Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan. And the company we'll be working with today is VIP Wigs. They sent me over a 24 inch deep curly 13 by six lace front wig. And it's also, um, it has HD lace. And y'all, HD lace is super thin. I really enjoy this wig. Inside your packaging, you'll receive wig caps, um, an extra elastic band, information card, a pick, um, in a silk bag and of course you'll receive your wig in a separate um, plastic bag. So for our color um, today, we need to lift the hair first. So we're gonna use our BW2 bleach and our 40 volume developer. Um, I like to use a lot of bleach so I don't have to go back and mix and keep mixing bleach. Um, so yeah, I just do a one to one ratio. I um, try to do like equal amounts of powder with equal amounts of developer. I'm gonna put on my gloves, I'm gonna mix that up. And then I'm gonna separate the frontal from the tracks part of the wig. And you know, the frontal part, I'm gonna paint that on in small sections precisely. And, um, but the back, I'm gonna slap it on like how I did in my previous videos. And you'll see that as well.
And don't be afraid to get the um, bleach on the um, scalp part of the frontal. You definitely want it on there so you can go ahead and bleach your knots at the same time as you're bleaching the hair. So you'll be killing two birds with one stone. So now you want to finish the other side of the frontal and then we're going to go ahead to the back. We're going to take that ponytail off and begin to slap the bleach on. Now, although we are slapping the bleach on, we still want to make sure that every section is getting the bleach um, on the top and the bottom and in the middle. So definitely fully saturate the back with the bleach. Um, separate it, go in between and make sure every section has the bleach and you want to do that for both sides on the back as well.
And once you're done applying all your bleach, you're gonna take some plastic bags and you um gonna fully wrap the wig up and I let it sit for 20 minutes and then I rinsed it out with shampoo twice and I also um conditioned it too before I started coloring. So now to the video, the part of the video that's not so HD. So I filled my bucket up with hot water after I shampooed and conditioned my wig. And then I'm gonna take a door. I'm gonna take two full bottles of cinnamon and one full bottle of Cajun Spice. I put all three bottles in the water, all three full bottles, and then I mix that together real good. And then I'm gonna take my wig and I'm just gonna dump it right in there. I'm gonna make sure the color is reaching every part of the wig. Um, and after I did let um, every part um, of the wig reach the color, I did let it sit for about five minutes. Um, also be careful, do not like um, leave your lace submerged in the water with the wig as you let it sit for five minutes to kind of like let it lay on top because your lace can kind of like tint kind of. I've noticed with black hair, like the lace, it tints when you watercolor it sometimes. So um, kind of weird, but hey. So yeah, I went ahead and rinsed that out. Um, I didn't have to shampoo and condition it because I already did it before. And don't be scared if the color looks dark while it's wet because hair is darker when it's wet. But once you dry and once it's dry and you fluff it out, it's definitely gonna be like very vibrant. So off camera, I went ahead and um, installed her wig and I would just cut out the lace after she came up from the dryer. And today, since we're going for the big look, we're gonna take our um, fingers and run it all the way throughout the hair. It's gonna make the wig look really big and we're gonna love it. So now she's just showing me how she wants her hair flipped over. I went ahead and took my hot comb and just hot comb the roots to make it lay um, the way she wants to be flipped over. Um, you can honestly do it with your fingers. Um, it's really just personal preference. So now we're just fluffing the hair, making it big, making it wild, you know. And now our style is complete. I thank you guys so much. We're almost at 100K. Goodbye.